What's going on, YouTube? How's everybody doing today? Good? Good? <laughs> Sorry I haven't been posting in a while. It's been about like a month and a half. I recently just had a baby girl come into this world last Thursday. Oh my God! Wow! It's a blessing. I know. It's, I couldn't be more happy. At You know, it's, it's, it's great. It's a great experience and everything. Yeah! Yeah, so you guys bear with me with the videos if it's going to be coming a little slow. I'm going to try to push out as much as possible. Thanks, partner. I know you guys want these videos. I want to put it out for you guys as well, but I'm just being a little busy. Appreciate you guys for understanding too. I'm going to try something out on uh, YouTube. I'm going to be streaming YouTube live. Breaking down a lot of the... Like, say if you guys have any questions on like how to do this certain hairstyle or how to take out this uh, certain line or how to make a guy line, line up enhancements, whatever. I'll go step by step with you personally on live. So I'm going to try that out. Put the post notifications on and so that we get updates of when I'm going to be going live. I'm going to be doing giveaways. So I'm part, every time I stream, I'm most likely going to do a giveaway. One giveaway per stream. It's going to be random whoever's in it. Hey, if, if I only have one person, that person's going to get it. So first come, first serve or, you know this and that because i'm just trying to give away a lot of stuff um i have a lot of things that have been sent to me and i just want to give it away clippers liners products capes whatever i just want to get the stuff tune into my videos i am doing in this video i am doing a mid ball fade with a four with the grain and also don't forget to damn my damn dog <laughs> you guys hear that in the background <laughs> my dog's playing with her toy if you guys don't follow me on instagram it's the same as my youtube arlen cook arlen cook arlen cook <laughs> so yeah be doing updates on my uh instagram so yeah y'all keep in touch y'all appreciate y'all love y'all we out baby what's going on youtube i know it's been a while i know it's been a while been busy man been busy but Today we are doing a mid fade. I am using a four with the grain. And if you guys don't know what the grain is, basically you're going with the pattern of the hair. So what you want to do, you want to comb out the hair. Make sure that you are taking down the hair with the hair pattern, you know, so that way you don't cross grain, you don't patch anything. So I'm brushing on the hair as I'm going with the grain. I'm following his hair pattern, his natural hair pattern. So taking down a little bit it's not really too much still gonna keep it dark on top and um yeah uh so he has like kind of curly like not not really tight curls but you know curly hair so i'm gonna make my first guy line or first bald line with my you know my, my balders my trimmers whatever you want to call them i call them balders trimmers yeah 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 so we are doing a mid fade. So I'm starting the bald line right at the temple, uh, below the temple. And then I'm dropping it underneath the occipital bone or occipital bone. I keep saying it wrong. <laughs> occipital bone. Uh, uh, I like doing my phase that way because I like the drop in the back. And when I feel like when you make the bald line kind of too high in the back, it, it makes it like look like a boosty fade in my opinion and you want to base your fades on how the person's head shape is or their you know how their head is shaped so i base a lot of my haircuts on that so we have our walls we're gonna make a guideline about fingers width half an inch to an inch um you play with it you can do whatever you want um i like doing mine about an inch to a half an inch i make sure that the guideline is straight Make sure you follow that bald line all across the entire head. It's a pretty sim simple way of cutting hair. Just follow the guidelines. I feel like my uh, my steps are a little easy. In my opinion, I feel like my steps are easy. They're very repetitive, but haircutting is all about repetitiveness and this and that. So you make sure you make that first guideline half an inch. And now we're about to close it up. We close it up, see if it takes out anything. If it it's going to make it lighter and then once it gets a little light then we open it up some more halfway and then we play with it i go my method is close halfway open so when you use the close it's going to lighten up a lot and then you see that it lightens up that ball line and then you do halfway and then when it lightens that then you go open and you just play with the corners play with your levers 
you know it's that simple y'all So now that we did that, we have our one guard. I'm gonna make my second guideline. I'm making it about another finger's width, half an inch. And when I get to the top where I wanna stop at, I flick out. You can see that it's really not, you know, lighting up a lot. Um, I just don't wanna to go too high, so I'm just kinda of being, I'm, me, I'm, I'm being a little scared cutting this hair. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Nah, but, so when I get to the spot where I wanna stop at, boom, I flick out. I don't want to make it like I don't want to make another hard line, but I ended up doing it because his hair was, it was curling up, so I couldn't really set in the guideline. So when I use my comb, I just I use the comb to kind of brush the hair down to set a guideline. But uh, yeah, I uh, I kind of dug in because I wanted to set in a, a nice clear guideline. Uh, so for the video that you guys can see it, I'm eventually gonna come in with my one and a half guard in a bit. And what I'm doing with one and a half guard, I'm just gonna take out that bulk that you see right there from the one, uh, and I'm just gonna flick out. So that way, when I come in with my clipper over comb, it'll be t so much easier to take out. So when I get to take out that dark spot, I'm just flicking, flicking out. I'm not digging in, I flick out to the head shape. So I'm just kind of grazing the hair, boom, flicking out, flicking out. It looks like I'm making another guy line, but I'm really not, I'm just flicking. Um, I'm basically just doing that just so I could uh, make the guideline look straight, but when I get to the, where I want to be, I just flick out. So now I have my clipper comb here, and I'm just going to take off all that bulk I see right there. I'm just going to try to blend in that one and a half into the top of the hair. You see that I'm getting all that hair right there just flicking out you gotta really like a clipper over comb is kind of advanced technique um i just started learning it about like four years ago maybe five years ago yeah like five years ago um because i was scared to do it you know i i didn't want to like you know patch somebody because i i have patched somebody when i was in barber school and ever since then i didn't try it but now I got it down, it's so much easier. It saves so much time. I, I, I say it's like a, a 10 to 15 minute, you know, drop on your hair cutting time. So what you wanna do is you kinda wanna raise the, the clipper comb at like a 45 degree angle. I'm not too great at geometry, but at an angle and you just wanna cut the hair, um, make sure that you pull the comb away from the head so that way you're not digging in. And uh, whatever the hair that's sticking out you just clip it clip it clip it clip it it's pretty simple once you get it down you gotta keep doing it over and over but you guys will get it down i know you guys can because you guys are all master barbers in this video <laughs> i'm driven but yeah now so now we have our uh zero guard and i'm just gonna use my lever open and i'm picking at any dark spots so i'm using the corners see i'm using the corners right there taking out any dark spots i see and if I want to lighten up even more, I'll just close the lever up even more. But yeah, so all this is, is just, just taking out light spots. I'm not trying to go too high because I already set in that the the fade guidelines, all that where I want it to be at. I already blended it in with the clipper comb to the top of the hair that one, where I want it to be at. So right now I'm just picking out any dark spots I can see. So his hair was actually pretty light. You know, it was, it was easy to blend. So especially on the side a lot of people have a uh, lighter hair like where the taper area is at i don't know why it's just that's just how it is so it was much easier to blend that right there but usually when people the back of their hair is it's kind of like darker for some reason i'm not yeah I'm, i don't know i'm not a doctor but usually the people their hair in the back of their head is always darker so you guys gotta like pick at that a little bit more than obviously on the side of the head so yeah i'm just picking out any dark spots close up the lever Play with the lever a lot see I, I pointed at that spot i don't know if you guys can see you guys can wind it i always point at the spot where i can't like where i see it's dark and i look at the mirror behind me 
and I just touch it and use your mirrors behind you guys because that's a different angle it's a it's a further angle so that's why when people like take a step back you can see more because you're seeing it at a different angle that's why i use my mirrors a lot some people don't use mirrors i use my mirror a lot So for right here, I'm gonna use my one guard. I seen a little dark spot. So I'm just gonna do some little detail work right now with my one guard, just using the corners because I don't wanna make it any lighter. So just using the corners. Um, detail work, I usually do it at the end of the video, but that spot was kind of bugging me. So <laughs> I, I had to take it out before I do the lineup. So yeah, you guys can always do detail work after or before. It's, you know, pick your poison. I like doing it whenever I just, whenever if if a spot's bugging me then i'm finna do it yo so <laughs> uh so we have our uh, our lineup right here so i'm using my high vis the wall trimmers i like these ones a lot they cut through hair pretty easily so i'm starting from the middle of the head and working my way from right to left or left to right yeah his left side my right side yeah so middle left and then back to the right so that way it all connects in the middle um he has very curly hair so it was kind of taking me a while to you know to set in that um that hard line because when you have curly hair for some reason the hair just kind of curls up and it's harder to uh to set in a good line so you got to keep going over and over again so um some people what they do is they they, they set in a line they brush set in a line brush set in a line brush but man, I ain't got that type of time, man. So I just uh, was doing it like that. Eventually, I think at the end, once I do hit the, um, before I hit the razor, I just comb it down and then just get all the rest like that. So I'm gonna do the enhancements right here. So a lot of people are against enhancements, a lot of old heads. I think so. Hey, whatever, man. It makes the haircut pop. It makes the haircut pop. You feel me? So, I have uh, my card that I want to set the enhancements with, and I'm just following along my lineup. So, just make sure that the lineup is straight as possible, so that way when you uh, do your enhancements, it's not gonna throw it all off. So, just follow it. Just trace it. Um, it's gonna take you a while to do this, the enhancements, because you gotta apply the right amount. You don't want to make it too dark or too light. I mean, some people like it light, some people like it dark. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle, you know? So, uh, right here, I feel like it was not too bad. It's not too not too light, not too dark. It's kind of in the middle, in my opinion. Um, I grab my brush right here, and I just, I uh, basically just rub off the paint. Not rub off the paint, but just kind of brush the paint into the hair, so it kind of blends in a little bit more. And then what I do is I grab the paint, and I kind of, put it into the hair so the uh well, the dark spots on the top of the hair so that way it blends in more perfectly as you guys can see perfecto so now i'm just doing my detail work you know the after just, you know just taking out all, any dark spots i see this and that but yeah this video is about wrapped up i thank you guys so much for you know watching me man i know it's been a while since i posted my last video i've been really busy so with a new baby on the way so bear with me with the videos you guys uh, i'm trying to push out as much as i can i'm gonna start doing some uh, live streaming too on here on youtube so just make sure you guys you know you know watch those you know put the post notifications on like comment subscribe i appreciate y'all man Arlenka, peace and love. I'm out.